So in this video, um, we have three dogs, ages four, five, and nine. So that's going to be our population, the ages of the three dogs. And we're going to take samples of size n equals two from this population with replacement. And we want to construct a probability distribution for the sample means. We're actually going to construct it uh, by hand. Uh, we're going to construct a probability distribution for x bar by hand um, from scratch. So a solution. So first, uh, maybe an observation. How many possible samples do we have? Well, our samples are of size n equals 2. And we have a population of three dogs, uh, one h4, one h5, one h9. So we're selecting two of them. So this is the first dog, this is the second dog. Since we have three dogs in our population, there are three ways to pick the first dog. And there are three ways to pick the second dog. Why? Because it's with replacement, right? You take a dog, you put it back, and you take another dog. So it's three times three equals nine ways to pick two dogs without replacement. So there are nine possible ways uh, to take a sample of two dogs from this population. All right, now we're just going to list all nine samples, compute all nine sample means, and then write down the probability distribution. So the first possible sample we can take is the easiest case. It's take the dog that's four years old and then take it again, so four and four. So four and four. This is one possible sample. And so in this case, the sample mean is simply four plus four over two, which is four. So that's gonna be uh, our possible value of x bar. And we just go to four and five. So you do four plus five divided by two. So you get 4.5. Then you just do four and nine. So take the dog that's four. Take the dog, it's 9, 4 plus 9, divided by 2. 13 over 2 is 6.5. So to recap, we took the dog, we took 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 9, and then you just add them up and divide by 2. Why are we doing this? These are the sample means, right? This is the average age of the two dogs, is 4. So the average age of these two dogs is 4.5. The average age of these two dogs is 6.5. Then we do it again. Um, so now we do 5 and 4, 5 and 5, 5 and 9. So 5 and 4. Well, if you add these up, uh, your x bar will be 4.5, right, 4.5, and you do 5 and 5. In this case, 5 plus 5 divided by 2 is simply 5, and then 5 and 9, so 5 and 9, 5 plus 9 divided by 2 is uh, 14 over 2, which is 7. Okay, so we did 5 and 4, 5 and 5, 5 and 9. Last but not least, Going kind of fast, it takes forever to do this problem. We do 94, 95, 99. So 94, 95, 99. So 9 plus 4 divided by 2 is 6.5. 9 plus 5 divided by 2 is 7. 9 plus 5 is 14, so you get 7. And then 9 plus 9 is 18 divided by 2 is 9. So these are the x bars. These here are the values of x bar, and these are all the possible samples. So all possible samples and all possible values of the x bar. So what we did was we took every single possible sample of size 2 from this population of three dogs, and we computed every single possible sample mean, so every single possible average age of these two dogs. Now we're ready to write the answer down. So now as an observation, there are nine possible samples, and each is equally likely. It's kind of like if you roll a six-sided die. Um, each of the dots on the die is equally likely, right? There's a one in six chance of getting any particular dot. Well, we have nine possible samples, so there's a one in nine chance of picking any particular sample. So now I'm gonna squeeze in the answer. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do it up here, so I'm gonna have to erase the actual question. So the final answer is gonna be a table, okay, a probability distribution. So we have x, and then here we have the probability of x bar. And so here we're going to list all the possible sample means. The smallest one is 4. 4. Weak chalk. 4.5 is the next one. Then we have um, 5. And then 6.5. So 6.5. And then we have, I guess, uh, is there a 7? So there's a 7. Uh oh, running out of room. I'm going to squeeze it in down here. And the very last one would be uh, 9. 9. Good, because I'm almost out of room. And now we're going to fill in all the possible probabilities. So for 4, well, let's see, there's one, there's only one 4. So the probability that x bar is equal to 4 is 1 over 9. What about 4.5? Let's see, there's one, two 4.5s. So it's 2 over 9, right? Because it's 1 over 9, or it's, 
right? The probability of getting a 4.5 is that you either pick this sample or you pick this sample. And or in probability theory means you add. So uh, one ninth plus one ninth, right? This one has probability one ninth and this one has probability one ninth. So you add them and you get two ninths. Uh, what about five? Oh, here it is, uh, one five. So one ninth. And then 6.5 would be, uh, oh, there's two. One, two, so two ninths, ridiculous. Seven would be two, so two ninths. And then nine would be one, so one ninth. And you can check, because these numbers should add up to one. If they don't, then we just messed up. So let's see, one plus two is three, uh, plus one is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they have, these add up to one. So nine over nine is one. So that is our probability distribution. So what is this for? Well, this tells you the probability, right? If you have a population of three dogs and you randomly select two, the probability that their average age is equal to four and a half years old is two over nine. So uh, we've completely determined the probability distribution uh, for this very, very small population of dogs. That's it.